Hi, I'm Lucine Nazarian Peterson, the first author of the article entitled Germline Chromatripsis Driven by L1 Mediated Retrotransposition and Alu Alu Homologous Recombination. Together with my colleagues and uh, collaborators, we published this article in the Journal of Human Mutation. Chromatripsis is a phenomenon of chromosome shattering by unknown intra- or extracellular factors where hundreds of DNA double strand breaks are localized in relatively small genomic regions ranging from a few hundred kilobase up to several megabase in size, or in larger regions as whole chromosome arms or even entire chromosomes. These generated double strand breaks are su subsequently stitched together in a random order and result in complex genomic and chromosomal rearrangements. Chromatripsis was first characterized in cancer, but soon after it was also detected in um, uh, congenital and developmental disorders and was termed germline chromatripsis. The breakpoint junction sequence features of until now described relatively balanced chromatripsis cases suggest that the multiple double strand breaks are joined together by non homologous end joining or microhomology mediated end joining repair mechanisms. Until now, no homologous sequences have been reported, which suggested that um, non-allelic homologous recombination is rather excluded from chromotripsis. Although the DNA repair mechanisms involved in chromotripsis have been described, the mechanism driving the localized shattering process remain unclear. In this study, we analyzed the breakpoint junction sequences of a germline chromotripsis involving chromosomes 3 and 5. An approximately 6.4 megabase region at chromosome 3 was shattered by 6 DNA breaks, generating 7 fragments named 3A to 3G, while chromosome 5 had a single breakpoint. In addition, at chromosome 3, an approximately 110 kilobase deletion was detected. That was fragment 3C. What is interesting in our study is that for the first time we identified ALU elements at four of the bre seven breakpoint sequences of this germline chromotripsis. ALU elements are approximately 300 base pair active primate specific sign retrotransposons, and due to their high copy number, these elements are prone to non allelic homologous recombination. Such events have resulted in benign and pathogenic genomic deletions, duplications, and inversions in humans. The two ALU SX elements flanking the 100 kb deleted 3C fragment are in the same orientation. Yet two other ALU elements spanning the breakpoints of the fragment 3E are from different subfamilies, ALU SQ and ALU JB, and are in opposite orientation. Our second very interesting observation in this study is that uh, is the inserted 502 base pair sequence at the breakpoint 3C, 3D. Blood search of this sequence showed that it shared 100% nucleotide identity to a full-length SVA element located on chromosome 7, belonging to a known active subfamily SVAE. Our analysis revealed that this inserted SVA element displays characteristics of L1 mediated retrotransposition, specifically because the 5' end of SVA element was truncated and the insertion occurred within a sequence resembling the L1 endonuclease cleavage site, TTTTGA. Our analysis suggests that the SVAE insertion did not occur pre or to or after, uh, but concurrent with the chromotripsis event. We also observed L1 endonuclease potential target sites in other breakpoints at chromosome 3, and therefore we suggest that chromatin looping, which is uh, shown in this figure, mediated by homologous ALU elements, may have brought distal DNA regions into close proximity, facilitating DNA cleavage by catalytically active L1 endonuclease. Thus, we propose the model, the details of what are presented in this figure. In conclusion, our data provide the first evidence that active and inactive human retrotransposons can serve as endogenous mutagens driving chromotripsis in the germline.